And welcome back to Tomb Raider Tuesdays. I hope you all have had a great week so far and are looking forward to this as much as I am. Uh, before we get properly started, though, I just want to quickly remind you all that if you go to Link Street slash Crimson Knight, as shown just on screen right here, you can help support me and my channel by also go uh, by finding a link in there to the Patreon, patreon.com slash Crimson Knight, at both of which are shown right here on screen <laughs> and are also probably like down below in the description if you're watching this on youtube or like they're around they're around if you look around you'll find them easily enough anyway <clears throat> so yeah i hope you all are doing well i'm doing pretty okay i'm already starting to feel the cough the coughing in coming so let me go ahead and put a cough drop in <clears throat> excuse me already we just started and i'm already coughing All right. Anyway, it's fine. It's good. It's fine. <clears throat> Oop, wrong button. There we go. All right. So let's swap over to the full game view. And just as a quick little catch up, I've I've completed with all the grinding. I have done all the grinding there can possibly be done. So, recurve bow, one hundred percent complete. Compound bow, 100% complete. Horn bow, 100% complete. It's a, those are the three archetypes of bows that are then divvied up between everything else. So, because we've got these all complete, I am going to swap over to this one. It's a DLC bow uh, called the Death's Breath. Uh, it doesn't give you any kind of extra beneficial bonuses or anything it's just it's just there and it looks nice uh it's red and black which are kind of my colors anyway um so swapping over to handguns revolver 100 percent complete semi-auto 100 percent complete heavy pistol 100 percent complete and the uzi 100 percent complete so now because those are all one oh and the and the hand cannon 100 percent complete as you can see here um, so looking at these, I am going to, sw uh, just as a quick brief note, uh, I did check the reason why it says I only have seven out of eight handguns found. There are some handguns that were only available as pre-order bonuses. There are some handguns that are available through the, uh, you unlock them through, I believe the multiplayer of this game, which I feel like nobody fucking played. Um, but, uh, I could be wrong about that, but I do know that they, that you do unlock some stuff through there. There's like, there's an outfit and stuff uh, and a few guns that you come out that way. But anyway, um, so, uh, but yeah, so that's why some of these say that I don't have all of them found. So like handguns rifles shotguns i'm missing several of each or one of each or or a couple of each in the in the shotgun case um and the reason for that is because of either dlc or from the other thing so anyway <clears throat> back to what i was doing so we've been using the heavy pistol which is this one well not that, that one it's this one um which now that it's fully upgraded we could do the moon shadow give it give her the black pistol or we could do the excipitor nox which is the black pistol for the semi-auto and honestly i'm kind of feeling the semi-auto um or maybe the hailstorm which is the Uzi. The Uzi. The Uzi. Ooh, ooh, the Uzi. The Uzi. Ooh, the Uzi. Um, I'm feeling the... Uh, you know what? No, we'll, we'll stick to the the basic semi-auto pistol. Uh, because I like the design of it more. Like, the actual... Like, yes, it's not black and all that, but, like... Nah, anyway. Um, so, rifles. We got the... 
100% on the SMG, 100% on the assault rifle, 100% on the bolt action, and 100% on the military. Um, personally, my personal favorite is the bolt action rifle. However, if we did that, one, there's not really that many opportunities in this game for sniping. She does a lot of up close sneaky sneaky stabby or uh charging shooting at least how, with how i play um there there the sniping is not often and when she does that's what the bow is for you know um it's about as deadly as the uh, it's it's as deadly oh come on as deadly as the bolt action and you know like looking at the stats and stuff it's equivalent now the bolt action does have this version the golden fang which is the gold gun uh gold sniper gun no change in stats or anything it's just gilded um but yeah because of the fact that the bow is so heavily emphasized um i'm thinking we'll go with the military rifle just because it's my it's my second bread and butter I, I it has much better recoil control from like i prefer it to the assault rifle basically is what i'm trying to say like the assault rifle which is like an ak-47 ish it doesn't have like if you look at the stats versus them it has higher damage but it has much less recoil stability um a decent bit less reload it's slower to reload and it's slow and it has less ammo capacity um <laughs> now i could do the smg however it doesn't have nearly as much on the range you know so i like i, I think we're gonna stick with the military rifle the semi-auto the cool looking death's breath and then 100% on the pump action, 100% on the brake action, 100% on the tactical, and 100% on the full auto. Um, and it's the full auto that we'll keep. However, here we go once again with a black and red colored thing, or more red colored, but black and red, but yes. And so that is what we'll do. Hobbinger. All right. So yeah, I did all the grinding I could do. I have upgraded everything I can possibly upgrade at the moment, which is everything. Um, as you can see, I've got a pretty decent amount of ammo. So yeah, anyway, we were going over here. Oh yeah, we can't go there through there. Um, we can, however, get there through here. Also, that reminds me, how are we doing on the per percentages here? There is still one challenge to him to do here in this area, or challenge to do, which is the... Oh, we have one, we have one more statue to destroy. So I'll need to be keeping an eye out for those specific statues. Uh, and we have two more relics, which are here-ish, if I recall. Alright. Right.
Alright. Nearly missed that. my way downtown walking fast swinging past because we're homebound do 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 we swing our way down here. Okay, now where do we go from here? Probably this way. Right? Right. Okay. is still firing trebuchet shots from on the other side of the wall all right now to find that fucking statue no 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 gotta be over here somewhere oh wow that got close Get off the thing. Wait a second. Game me over, thought this part really hard. A relic. A carved wooden relief of what looks like the prophet of Kadesh. 
It's well worn and damaged. This isn't made of local timber. Word of the prophet must have spread. I mean, that's usually how prophets. That's usually what happens with prophets. You know. Hold on, bear with me one second. I need to check a thing. Oh, why did the deal with that? Um, looking for a thing. Bear with me. I don't know why I'm singing. I don't know. Are we still in the path of the deathless? Are we? No, I think we're in the actual oh, city. Missing exactly one vandal spot. Okay. I meant to do that. I'm remembering now that I meant to do this while I was uh, grinding, but I got so excited over the fact that I had completed the 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 more annoying of the grinding, you know. All right, so All right, so Yes, okay, I do have that one um You're on the roof. You're on the roof. Yes. Yes, you are. Okay. Oh, wait. No, you're the... Hold on. Okay. So, real quick. Real quick, sees. Quickly check to make sure that the statue's out here, that the statue out here is broken. It is, because I don't see one that needs to be broken. Okay. So, not this one. You, however... Yes, I did break you. Um, okay. All right. So now, damn it, come here. You, okay, are in here. <clears throat> you look like you're supposed to be on that pedestal. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna venture and say that that one's gone. Where are you? Okay, I need to get back up top to determine if this one's actually gone. 
Uh, wait, do we have any others? Oops. Okay. Hold on, where does it tell me to stand? Here. Doesn't look right. go all right now oh it's just one second while i damn it wrong button there we go now now Okay. Just gonna quickly run around, look for resources, make sure I'm not missing anything that could be useful later. I don't think I am. Yeah. Alright. Okay. Onwards we go, words. That's not necessary. 
Okay. Hey, look. Two skill points. All right, I think these are my last two. Yes, these will be my last two. Cool. We'll get that one and that one. There she is, fully leveled up. Fully, fully leveled up too. All her, all her, all her shit, all her shit. Oh, wrong button. Ooh, barely. Okay, I know what I should have done there. me. That was a waste of ammo. Alright, let's go get some of that ammo back, assuming there's those pouches are still here. They're not. That would be too easy. Okay. Yes! Base camp, hell yeah. All right. They're climbing too. 
Man, that ledge looks so fucking slick. Stay calm, Lara. Stay calm. Stay calm. Hey, look, they're teeth hosing. There was apparently something I was supposed to do that I didn't do. I love those guys just deposing over there on the wall. Let's just reload that checkpoint again. Let's see. Let's see if I can't fix the deposing. Nope, can't. Okay. So here's what we're gonna do. This will put, probably put me back to the. Uh, this will probably put me back to the last base camp we were at. But I don't mind that. Tobacco gold. It's still gonna be T posing. Yep, okay, fine. sniper rifle right now, or a bow and arrow that could shoot that far.
Hell of a shot. No, no base camps beyond this point. Fast travel and player upgrades will not be possible past this location until the story campaign is complete. So, real quick, just to make sure, because I know, I know I'm missing a fucking uh, relic or something from here. Yeah, I'm missing one relic. Uh... Let me quickly check to make sure that I it's not somewhere back behind me. Cause I would hate for that to be the case and finish the game, you know? All right, we are Lost City. All right, swapping from challenges. From challenges to relics. Okay. All right. So it is not ahead of me. Hold on. How many? There are 10 relics. And we have nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. So there is one I'm missing. And it's back here, probably. Okay. Let's travel back to here. So I don't remember picking up a relic after entering this part. So it's got to be. Anyway. Where? Where was it? As it's over here somewhere. This. No. Wait. Yeah. Okay. Oh, wait. I press Oh 
There it is. I ran right past it. Really did run right past it. An ivory tusk with delicate carvings. Something unusual about the pattern. It's a map. It shows a path through the mountains to Katash. Mm, could have used this earlier. <laughs> yeah, I would have saved her a, a bit of trouble, yeah. All right, now, now we're done here. All right, let's see. Uh, okay, so if I just, yep, there we go. And then again, and then down, down. Oh no, she died. He says like it wasn't his plan. All right, so now 100%, there we go. All right, just to confirm. Mountain Peak, 100. Siberian Wilderness, 100. Glacial Cavern, 100. Soviet Installation, 100. Wicked Veil, 100. Research Base, 100. Abandoned Mines, 100. The Orrery, 100. Flooded Archives, 100. Geothermal Valley, 100. The Apo Apocalypse, the Apocalypse, the Acropolis. 100. <clears throat> Orrery. Path of Deathless, 100. Lost City, 100. All that's left is the damn storyline. All right. <clears throat> the final precipice. <laughs> okay. Off we go to save the day! Wait. Wait. There's one thing. We gotta look the part, right? No, nope, she looked cold as fuck. That doesn't look too bad. Filtrator doesn't look too bad. Alright, let's see here. Guardian. Ancient dark metal armor with a bare fur cowl. Attire suited for the elite guardians of Kitesh. Um. No, let's go with, uh, let's go with the infiltrator one. Yeah, that's the one we'll go with. Actually, no, no, we won't. No, we're gonna stick with the thing we've been doing this whole time, which is the actual one she wears in the story. Fine. 
The remnant jacket. All right, Lara, let's go. No wardrobe change for you.
signal Sophia to fire that trebuchet. As if I don't have a whole ass armory other than my bow. You have no weapons, no allies. Ow. All you took was my damn bow, dude. You didn't take every gun I had on me. No hope. This place will become your tomb. <sighs> I told you. I also think you're an idiot. bow and weapons. This is not my destiny. I was meant for greatness. This was huh? never your destiny. Your sister let you believe that. She carved the stigmata into your hands. I did it all. All of this. And that's why you're fucking me. stupid. Wait! Trinity killed your father! No! You're lying! He begged for his life. And when that failed, he begged for yours. You're wrong! Shut up! Just shut up!
men are defeated. Your brother is dead. No! That's what Trinity has wrought. Death. And that's all they'll ever bring. Give this up. I gave up everything for this. I have no intention of giving it to Trinity. What about your father? You're what about doing him? him to be mocked by history. Let How him be mocked. Let this go. When you're so close. I'm willing to make that sacrifice. <clears throat> I can't let you take it. Think of the millions suffering and dying. We can save them. We can change the world. Together. The cost is too high, Anna. We aren't meant to live forever. Death is a part of life. That's easy for you to say. You're not the one who's dying. But this isn't about you. This is about humanity, about protecting what it means to be human. They're coming! We're surrounded! <laughs> It was just the like source. you and one army. It's not meant for the world. This is your chance, Lara. Everything I've done, everything you've done, another Croft doesn't have to die for this. But I'm willing to. Also, I mean, response could be I don't intend to die, so you're not a Croft. <laughs> well, I'm not. <laughs> Trigger, Please. Lara. This bitch killed your dad. This is my own. Too long already. <laughs> you know I destroy it. In all my years, I've met few as extraordinary as you. <laughs> it's finally happening. <laughs> my ending. I'm sorry. All I wanted was to make a difference. You already have. You already have. Now, I would go slit Anna's throat with one of the shards of the Divine Source, but that's just me. My dearest Lara, I often think about how my father would turn over in his grave if he knew the shame I had brought upon our family's name. Croft, what does it even mean? I just hope you can make your own mark on this world someday. Remember that the extraordinary is in what we do, not who we are. Destroying the source was the right thing to do. I still feel like I let him down. I think you would have made the same choice. Come on, you've got a plane to catch. I listened to his last tape a thousand times, but it's as if I was hearing my father's words only now, for the first time. It doesn't matter what choices he would have made, I have to make my own. The myth of Katesh was real. There are secrets out there that can change the world. I need to find them, 
Not for my father, not for anyone else. Trinity is still out there, and they're more powerful than I ever imagined. I can stop them. I can make a difference. I can make the right difference. Now that I've played and beaten the third game, it's amazing how much of what they just showed is actually kind of spoilers for the third game. <laughs> anyway. All right, we are gonna... Anna. Rona. You said another Croft doesn't have to die for this. What did you mean by that? You know what they what she meant. You killed my father, didn't you? Trinity ordered his execution. I couldn't do it. You're lying. I loved him. No! It's done. Good. What about Croft? I'd forgotten about that. But anyway. 98% <clears throat> complete. What am I missing? What am I missing? Come on, load in. Game says no, you will wait. I know it's a lot to take in. Oh! I wish I could have been with him in the end. Knowing your people would be safe gave him comfort. He went peacefully. Thank you, Lara. Our oaths have been fulfilled. What will you do now? This is still our home. We will rebuild. But there is much work to be done. There are still enemies in this valley. And there is still much to discover. Is there? Still only got 2%. New shotgun available. Thunderclap. Okay. I wonder if that two percent was just the video, or not the video, the the vi the the cutscene. Where is? Shotty. Thunderclap. Oh, it's a break action shotgun. Interesting. Okay. All right. So now that we've had that conversation, that conversation with her, if we save the game, does that? There we go. Put us right back at 100% completed. There we go. And as you can see, my previous save, uh, 100%. But uh, yeah, exit the main menu. Uh, but Crimson, are we going to end it there? We still have half the stream left, you might be asking. And you are correct, we do. And that's because we got DLC to go through. <clears throat> Just a second, I have to check Discord real quick, see if there's something that needs my attention. 
Come on. Uh, shoot. There we go. All right. Yes, I'm sure. Let's do this. Let's do this. Important clues can be found in the document and relics found throughout the map. Some documents and relics found throughout the manor are are required. Blah blah blah. Important clues can be found in documents and relics. It's yours. Yep. Yeah. Final notice to Lara Croft, a current tenant of premises. This is to serve as your final notice for the purposes of terminating your ownership of Croft Manor. You are required to immediately vacate and surrender possession of said manor to Atlas de Mornay, executor of estates. Lara, it is unfortunate that you have forced my hand in this matter, but so be it. As you know, your parents appointed me executor of the estate in the event of their absence. Since your mother disappeared, her death was never technically declared. And given the circumstances surrounding your father's death, it's no surprise that he never drafted a formal last will and testament to account for this circumstance. Unfortunately, you have no legal claims to the estate. I'm willing to negotiate a modest monthly stipend from your trust, but only if you leave the manor by week's end. Don't fight me on this, Lara. Your mother wouldn't want that. Sincerely, Atlas. There yes, she fucking would. Will, some kind of evidence of what happened to Mum in the manor somewhere. Dad's safe. Hmm. Needs a combination. It's got to be in Dad's papers somewhere. Maybe in the library. The way the chair spins. <laughs> All right. Dad would have liked me to go to Oxford, but I insisted on UCL. <laughs> yep, looks real. Roth once offered to forge me a fake diploma to show Dad. Well, this is a hell of a thing. I met someone tonight quite unexpectedly. But it shouldn't have been, it seems. I've been so buried in my work, so distracted by my latest revelations, I never bothered to notice my surroundings. But there she was, sitting at my table in the library. Her name is Amelia, and apparently she's been studying right next to me. Art history, of all things. I shared some of my research against my better judgment, but I wanted to see how she would respond, and she did not disappoint. I felt as if I was suddenly engaged in a mental game of chess, moving and counter-moving in argument. At one point, that poor old librarian had to shush us as if we were children. I feel so foolish for not having noticed her earlier. She's a brilliant woman who's challenged my ideas for the first time in memory. In truth, I don't know if she's feeling as exhilarated as I am right now, but I dare say our conversation was mutually stimulating. For the first time in a long time, I find myself thinking about something else besides my research. I hope she returns for another round tomorrow. <laughs> I always knew that my parents met at Oxford, but never the circumstances. Just like my dad to argue mythology as a way to flirt. <laughs> Damn. My parents made a good team, challenging each other from the start. Nothing in there. A picture with Dad and Anna. Never liked wearing dresses, but the color was nice. Yeah, that is a nice color of like a cyanish blue. Hold on, do I see her face in the reflection? Oh, it would have been cool if we saw Lara's face in the reflection. You know? I don't think you do. 
I'm not sure what you see, what we are seeing in the reflection. But anyway. That would have been a nice touch if it had been Lara's face. Oh well. This is probably my grandfather, Benjamin. One of Dad's Yoruba masks. A gift from a friend he met on an expedition in Nigeria. I finally introduced Richard to the family. It went precisely how I imagined. I see but polite grace from Mother, indifference and disinterest from Father and thinly veiled contempt from Atlas. Of course they don't approve. To them, Lord Croft is the man who took away their beloved daughter and ruined her long-standing engagement. Though I was never going to marry that repugnant Earl of Farringdon anyway. <coughs> One might think they would be happy that I was being courted by a genuine Lord of the Realm. It just happens to be Richard Croft. In their eyes, the man who single-handedly ruined a once great family. But there's nothing to be done now. Watching how Richard dealt with their subtle insults and disrespect. Such grace and calm. I know he did it for me. <laughs> but I think I'm falling in love with this man. It will break my mother's heart. But I cannot live the life she imagined for me. My time with Richard has only made this clearer. Bomb's own words. I can almost imagine her speaking. I wish I could remember her voice. It must have been hard for Mum to go against her family's wishes. I'm glad she did. I mean, you wouldn't be there if she didn't. So, you know, self-interest. Dad's book about immortality myths might be useful in my research. Looks well, well worn. Even a little stained. Richard Croft explores myth in search of lost truths within Christianity. <clears throat> the word myth rests on a historical basis. By the time of Christ, the Greco-Roman world had started to use the term myth, i.e. Greek mythos, to mean fable, fiction, lie. As a result, the early Christian theologians used myth in this sense. This, the derogatory meaning of the word myth, is the traditional Christian meaning. And the exception, or the and the expression Christian mythology, as used in academic discourse, may offend Christians for this reason. A truly engaging discussion lays the foundation for understanding human history. An ambitious, highly important book. Second edition. Oh, look at that cover art. Dad's Syria. map of the forgotten cities of northern Syria. He was closer than he knew to finding the prophet's tomb. My birthday crown. <laughs> I was so proud of that thing. Oh. Such a cutie, look at her. <laughs> That's my handwriting. My penmanship was pretty good. Much better than mine. Especially at that age. All right. Still can't get into this yet, right? Right. All Need right. Need a combination for this lock. Oh, wrong button. Oh, this is the button I want. Um, all right, so. Welcome to Croft Manor. <laughs> I 
This is the map I made for my first expedition with Dad. It shows a path to the library through the serpent's passages. Wait, I can get to the library through the old servant's corridor. The door to the library. Of course it's locked. Locked. Hmm. There's got to be another way through. Dad's artifacts from the Nile Valley. I always loved looking at these. Dad became interested in immortality myths after his expeditions to Egypt. Okay, we'll worry about that in a second. Oh, a little space heater. Hi, Dad. I've been thinking about Mum lately. I wish I knew more about her. How did you meet? What was she like? Winston told me that she was a brilliant artist. Are some of her paintings knocked up in the West Wing? And I guess I just want to know, did she love me, Dad? Did she ever say that she did? Maybe I'm just being silly, but will you tell me more about her the next time I'm home from school? It was so hard for Dad to talk about Mom. As it would be. There's her laptop. Probably where she's been sleeping. Yep, there it is. Blankets and yep, she's probably been sleeping on the couch here. Lara, I've reviewed the report from your therapist. I have to say I was surprised to see a clean bill of health. I of course he was. doubt you've so easily abandoned your irrational claims. Indeed, where have you been the past few weeks? My secretary discovered that you booked a flight to Turkey on the 20th. You can't have been simply sightseeing, as your customs claim suggests. I know you're up to something, and I'll be damned if I let you use the Croft assets to indulge the same obsession that led to my sister's death. It's not too late to relinquish your claims on the manor voluntarily. If you refuse, I will find a way to cut you off. Sincerely, Atlas. I don't know how I feel about keeping this old manor, but one thing is clear to me. I need Uncle Atlas out of my life for good. <laughs> well, hello there, Sir Lancelot. Don't worry, you won't be boring your sword this time. Honestly, okay. Real talk. Real talk. People who make Tomb Raider, pay attention to me on this, please. I would love a game that is just exploring the hell out of Croft Manor. Every room, every corridor, secret, and otherwise. Come on. Like, it doesn't need to be... It could be its own game. I would pay $60 for it right then and there. 70 even. Just for just for Croft Manor. That's it. You know? Like, I don't need a whole ass adventure on top of it. Just let me explore the entire manor. You know? And maybe, maybe, if you're feeling generous, make it so that it's able to be, like, swapped between the three different versions that currently exist. You know? that you could explore every single room openly in modern graphics would be fantastic. I would love it so much. But anyway, I digress. The Grand Hall. Always loved playing in here as a kid. This will be one of the first things to fix. Oh. Phoenix figurine. 
I bet this appealed to Dad's idea of immortality, of rising from the ashes and being born anew. All right, there's a door over there that leads into this, whatever this room is. And this door goes to the library. So, okay, this was the office right here. This must be the library. Or maybe one of the bedrooms. Hard to tell by looking at it. They came from this office here. Out here, this door was locked. And now we're here. This door is blocked. So this room... Yet another blocked off door. Need the master key for that, okay. Another blocked off door. Hmm. This belongs to Anna. Most of her belongings are in the Longed guest house. What was she doing in here? <laughs> Someone has a sense of humor. Stop smoking, love R. Right next to a whole thing of cigarettes. But, yeah. Yeah, so the West Wing is declared unsafe, as you can see by that. Lara, you know the West Wing is off limits. I'm sorry, I, I just wanted to see. We've been through this. Was Mom's room in here? Just stay out of there, darling. Dad was always so protective of the West Wing. Another blocked off doorway. Oh, wow, look at that. Yet another blocked off doorway here. Locked off. Locked? Locked. Now that we're on the main floor. Another blocked off door. Lara. Since your return from your expedition to Yamatai, I've grown increasingly alarmed at your erratic behavior. I can only assume you suffered some kind of psychological trauma and are only acting out as a call for help. I want you to know that I hear you, loud and clear. Anna and I agree that it's time for you to be evaluated by a professional. I took the liberty of arranging an introduction to a highly qualified colleague of mine. You should be receiving the details in the post soon. I want to impress upon you the importance of this, Lara. As executor of the estate, it is my duty to see that it is left in capable hands. And if I may be blunt, you're acting like your father when he was at his worst. He nearly lost the manor himself in those days. I'd hate for you to repeat his mistakes. I encourage you to embrace the help I'm offering. Sincerely, and she, your uncle. And she did, and got a clean bill of help, much to his uh, health, much to his chagrin. My uncle's first attempt at trying to cut me off from the manor. It backfired, though. I wasn't as crazy as he believed. What are you doing sitting there on the floor, Mistress Lara? Looking at the compass. 
thinking. What about, if I may inquire? Just thinking about discovering faraway places, about finding adventure. <laughs> I'm sure you will, my lady. You've the soul of an explorer. But don't grow up too fast. Oh, old Winston. The offer came in the post last week, and I still haven't told Richard. He flew ahead to Tibet, where I will meet him shortly. I never told him I was submitting my work. Never thought there was a chance of being accepted. Oh, but a gallery tour is not something I can pass up. The show will take me away from England for over a year. I'll begin in New York and travel across the United States and... Oh, God! I'm giddy even writing these words. When Richard and I were married, I was prepared to relegate my painting to a hobby. But it was Richard who objected, who gave me my atelier and studio. Without that support, I might still be painting boring landscapes. Now I can't shake the foolish sensation that leaving would be a betrayal. He will laugh at that and insist I accept, even though I know it will break his heart to be apart. He never once asked me to sacrifice any part of my life for his. I have, of course, in a thousand small ways over the years, but he would never ask. The discussion can wait, and I will join him in Tibet. I won't cast a shadow over his find. I will be by his side in his triumph, as I know he will stand by my side in time. This is incredible. Mom was on the verge of fulfilling one of her dreams. Fate can be so cruel. Yep. Yep, it can be. Another one. Eh. Excuse you, game. Who's this? Another one of Dad's immortality artifacts. I think Roth bought this for him from a trader in Greece. An Ouroboros amulet. Alright, that's blocked off. There's nothing over there. That door is locked. <clears throat> that's blocked. Ah. Hmm, not sure. I really need to brush up on my ancestors one of these days. Hey, Jonah. Sorry for not getting back to you sooner. I've decided to do some research at the manor. A lot has happened, and I need some time to think hey, about what I want to, to see do you. next. This old place. Good to see you. Good to see you. Glad you could make it. How are you doing? Place is filled with memories and secrets. Uncle Atlas has tried to keep me out of here for so long. I don't even know if I want to keep it. But after everything that's happened. Maybe I can find out what it still means to me, if it's worth fighting him for. I'll let you know how things worked out when I'm back in London. I'm doing all right. I'm doing good. I'm excited because we've, uh, I don't know if you were, how long you've been uh, here, but the uh, we just finished the main storyline and we just started the, uh, the Croft Manor DLC. So I'm really excited because this, the Croft Manor part of the game is my favorite part of this game. Um, but, yeah, I, I hope Jonah doesn't worry about me too much. We haven't talked since I left her Syria. You just got here? Cool. Got to remember to pack this for my next trip. Uh, how, how's your day been? How are you doing? Should be able to explore the dark now. All right. 
So doors are locked and stuff. Okay. So that just leaves this one area back here. Yeah, 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 yeah. I had a pretty good day, and uh, yeah, I fully understand that. Getting. You should definitely take care of yourself and, you know, do what you need to do. Um, but yeah, I had a, I've had a good day. Uh, whew, thanks for popping in. Amelia, the news has reached Mother. She knows that you broke off your engagement with the Earl of Farringdon. She is beside herself with worry. But, for the moment, she's controlling the narrative. As far as anyone knows, you're just having innocent second thoughts. But the moment your affair with Lord Croft goes public, it will be too late. Our name will be as ruined as this man you've chosen to bed. Don't you see that you're being selfish, Amelia? Please, consider your family. You're a Demorne. Everything you do has a greater effect on us all. I'm coming down to London soon. Don't do anything rash until we have a chance to talk. All right, cool, cool, cool. Uh, mom was engaged to someone else. There's so much I never knew about her. <laughs> what you been up to? Behaving yourself? Oh, oh. Falling apart. Maybe I should just let my uncle have this place. <laughs> They say a good test of a relationship is how well you travel together. Well, I'd say Amelia and I have passed that test with flying colors. Indeed, these last few months in Egypt have been nothing short of extraordinary. She and Roth get on like old uni chums. In fact, the two have spent more than a few nights drinking and playing cards into the wee hours. Despite her decidedly proper upbringing, Amelia's taken to roughing it more than I ever have. She fits in and connects with the local populace with such amazing empathy. Because of her, I've had a bit of an unexpected breakthrough in my research. She managed to convince an artifact dealer in Old Town to sell me a magnificent and quite unusual Tibetan scroll. From what I can tell, it seems to contain details surrounding an immortality ritual of some sort. I think it's time for me to take the next step with Amelia. In fact, I don't think I can wait any longer. I will ask for her hand tomorrow in the bright Egyptian sun amidst the dust and ruins. Very fair. Sleep in while you can. <laughs> fair enough. Um, I heard so many stories about that expedition. To see, th to see it from Dad's perspective makes me realize that it was Mom who made it all so memorable. I'm not Aww. surprised he asked her to marry him as soon as he got the idea. Yet another locked door. A rat. Cool. Amelia, I know we have had our differences in recent years. I've tried my best to keep an open mind about your relationship with Richard, but I just can't let you go on this ill-conceived expedition without saying my piece. You say Richard's theories have merit. You say that he may have actually stumbled upon some mythic unknown truth, but I have seen nothing to support such claims. And while your word may have been enough in times past, I cannot let you squander away what remains of your name and reputation and that of our family, truth be told, on some damned foolish crusade. I intend to go to Richard's investors and let them know exactly how he's spending their money, but I want to give you a chance to put a stop to this yourself. Please, don't go to Tibet. If not for me, at least for Lara. Anything exciting in my life? streaming you know 
I mean, like nothing, nothing unusual, nothing out of the ordinary. <laughs> She's Gabe. Can't you see we're trying to have a conversation here? Absolutely. How rude of it. Every time we try to say something, the game's just like, uh, excuse me. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> Can't you see? <laughs> even Atlas, no matter what, he's he's just a jerk. <laughs> even even in real life. Exactly. Um But yeah, anything exciting exciting in my life? I mean streaming. Like honestly, like I I had to take I took well I didn't have to take last week off, but I chose to take last week off and I'm just I'm just super excited to get back into it this week. Um and uh you know, keep going with the games we've been doing and all of that. Uh, but other than that, I mean honestly, my life is pretty pretty standard and ordinary. You wake up, you eat, you do other human things that humans have to do. Uh and then you go to work, which for me is streaming. But uh, yeah. Uh, now to quickly take care of this. Uncle Atlas has been causing problems for my family for far too long. Now I'm glad mom ignored his warnings. All right. Still just as creepy as I remember. Well, it doesn't... It doesn't help that you, nobody's cleaned the place in God knows how long. Absolutely, abso absolutely. My lord. I hope this missive finds you on a successful expedition and in good health. Before I bore you with estate affairs, I wanted to let you know that our little angel has been into some <laughs> mischief. As always, little I angel. indulged her in our usual game of chess. Over the course of the game, she broached the subject of her mother. She's having trouble remembering her now and wanted to enter her ladyship's atelier, which you sealed off, to play on her mother's piano. It enraged her when she wasn't allowed to go in, of course. For someone so young, she has such strong emotions. Later in the day, she set a trap for me in the walk-in freezer, of all places. Before I knew what was <laughs> happening, I found myself locked inside. Mrs. Yay, Sheffield references. discovered me an hour later, shivering and somewhat peeved. It took us an additional hour to find Lara in the grounds. I know all her hiding places, of course, but this time she really did not want to be found. Call it years of observation, but I can tell when she's out of sorts. My lord, if I may be so bold, she misses you fiercely. She is lonely for her father. Please consider a call as soon as you are able. Oh, poor Winston. I remember doing that to him. I can't believe I was such a little brat. Thank goodness he had such patience with me. Yeah, yay for the references to the to the things you can do to Winston in the uh, classic games. Um, poor Winston. I remember being so angry. He was always so patient with me. As for something else that I've been doing outside of just streaming and, you know, existing, uh, is uh, I've been playing a lot of Baldur's Gate 3, and I'm, I really love that game. King to Queen 1. I'm going to win this time, Winston. <laughs> Clever girl. But you should know by now Winning isn't everything. Queen to King's Bishop Six. Check. Easy for you to say. You always win. Knight takes Queen. What I mean to say is try to enjoy the journey, Lara. Don't rush to victory. Bishop to King Seven. I know, Winston. I just want... Oh, no! I didn't even see that. You should also know by now. I'm not to be trifled with on this board, young lady. Mate. Oh, I am going to win. Someday. 
I would play chess with our old butler Winston on this board. Never could beat him. I always chose white. Maybe if I let him go first once in a while, I might have won. Maybe. Yeah, it's I mean, honestly, the game deserves all of the all of the hype it's been getting. Um, and like it because it is genuinely as amazing as like everyone says. I need a crowbar. I'm at a crossroads now. Good lord, that's such a cliche. But there's truth in it. Two roads before me. Both present joy and compromise. A life with Richard. Adventure, intellectual pursuit, perhaps a new family. But also a man obsessed with something I cannot understand. Or a life of obligation. Upholding the De Mornay name, embracing our traditions, not losing the family that raised me. Oh, this really is a rubbish choice. I don't want to lose them, but I love the life I've started to build with Richard. He comes with his own difficulties, but I can accept them. Will it be enough? The time she was with us, I hope it was enough. I hope it was worth it. Is it like the first one? You mean Baldur's Gate? Um, honestly, I have no idea. Uh... The I know that they've ma that they made some significant changes in gameplay and certain aspects of things in order to make it as much like uh, actual Dungeons and Dragons as possible because they uh, uh, they actually were able to get like permission from Wizards of the Coast and stuff like that to use elements of it that they had to fudge before. Um, so like it's very much like playing a video game that is Dungeons and Dragons. Yes, there there were there is it is the third of of it of a trilogy of games. Uh but the first two are pretty old to my understanding. Um they are uh not quite like you know uh the original Nintendo old, but they are uh, older, I should say. Um, and yeah. So, but they do have some continuations from them. Like you do see uh, at least one of the characters from one of the previous games makes a reappearance. Actually, I think actually now that I think about it, two of them do. Um, I just haven't come across the second one yet. Um but yeah they do have some returning characters they do have of course the location mostly is returning Baldur's gate um which is a city within the uh sword coast of dungeons and dragons um <clears throat> but uh yeah Yeah, it is. It is pretty awesome. Have you done any uh, Dungeons and Dragons or tabletop RPGs or anything like that? Everything is almost ready for Mistress Lara's birthday expedition surprise. It's been a bit of an all hands on deck effort organizing the affair and keeping it secret. She's obsessed with Egypt memorizing hieroglyphs and ancient Egyptian districts, so she'll be delighted with what Lord Croft has come up with. This will be good for her. She's been acting up of late, but I know she's just craving more of her father's attention. 
fact he's been so buried in his research. It'll be a nice moment for the two of them to reconnect. And I do believe he needs it as much as she does. It really was one of the best day birthdays I'd ever had. Um, okay, yeah. Uh, it can be a little, little bit to follow along, but it's really fun if you get the right group. Um, the, uh, the thing about tabletop RPGs, um, is, like, no matter which one you're playing, be it Dungeons and Dragons or Blades in the Dark or one of the other ones, um, there is always, if not a, a specific game that people will, in, that is for anyone, like there's always a game for everyone, basically. Um, and if like if you don't care for the Dungeons and Dragons aesthetic uh, or gameplay or something like that, then there's there's enough of them out there that you will that if you look, you will absolutely find something that you adore. Um, but there's also, but you also have to have the right group of people that you play with um, because there are so many different ways that you can enjoy tabletop RPGs that like there's so many different variations like uh, a game run by me with with a group of friends will would look completely different than a game run by one of my friends with me as just a player you know and it's it, it could be the same subject material and same game and everything but it would be still completely different because everybody has their unique style. And so it's very much one of those things of if you stick with it, you will absolutely find the right fit, you know? Um, it's like kind of like with video games, honestly. There's something out there for everyone, you know? If you don't like uh, action-adventure, then maybe you'll like platformers or puzzlers. If you don't like those, maybe you like FPSs, you know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. You have to find the right fit. All right. Boopity bop bop. All right. Speaking of puzzles. And also, another thing about TTRPGs is there's, especially these days, there's almost always, uh, not almost always, there's almost, almost every intellectual property that exists out there has a TTRPG for it. Either an official one or an adapted one using some a system that already exists. So, like, uh, Tomb Raider, for instance. Uh, they recently came out with an official Tomb Raider t uh, tabletop RPG. Um, and from everything I've seen about it, I haven't had a chance to play it yet because I need to find the right group. Um, but from everything I've seen about it, it looks really awesome and looks really fun. Uh, and you can pick it up for free online. Um, and But like uh, moving on from Tomb Raider, there's also... Like, if you love, like, Doctor Who or Star Trek or Star Wars or um, even more abstract concepts, like, you like, if you like um, uh, generally dark Victorian era aesthetic pseudo supernaturally advent like settings, Blades in the Dark is 100% exactly that. Almost like almost like gothic horror, but not quite, you know. Um, and like there, there's absolutely something out there for everyone. And like there's, if you're a superhero fan, there's uh, TTRPGs that either that take place in either Marvel or DC. Um, there's TTRPGs where you can make your own like 
superhero world kind of a thing not ba that's not based on marvel or dc you know things like that there's quite literally something for everyone you just have to look uh, you just have to know where to look and find the right group to play with Dad loved a good bottle of wine. Hmm. I can still smell his favorite Bordeaux. Dad, this is it! The basement of despair! Indeed, Lara. Muster your courage, for this is the only path to the Library of Infinite Knowledge. Look there! See the string? An ancient Egyptian tripwire. The keepers of knowledge want none to disturb their treasures. We must tread carefully. Let me lead. I know how to spot all the traps. I'm sure you do, my darling. Lead on. Oh, that was adorable. <laughs> There's currently an ad. I'll respond to your uh, statement in a moment, uh, if you can hear me. I'll wait for the ad to be over, just in case you can't hear me. <laughs> Look at that. That's adorable. Uh oh, that's not good. They're going to need somebody to get come in here to fix those pipes. Wow, they've got several leaking pipes. Holy crap, that's really much not good. Really much not good. Wow, Jamie, you're good with the English. <laughs> My stuffed bear. I couldn't have a tomb without a mummy. <laughs> oh, look at that. That's adorable. All right, ad is over. Uh, I, I feel I would never find anyone near where I live that would want to t uh, TTRPG always going to be virtual if anything absolutely the there are all kinds of virtual options out there um, there's roll 20 which is a free to use site that it, it's um it's what they call a virtual tabletop um, you basically you and your friends go on the thing and then you have you know essentially a virtual table tabletop where you can have like maps or character sheets or whatever um there's uh D, D beyond for dungeons and dragons and stuff like that there are all kinds of virtual options and even if you don't want to use like a website or anything like that just using discord or zoom would absolutely you know fit the bill um you don't like all of my ttrpg experience has been virtual um I think once, no, twice, twice I have had a TTRPG session in person, twice. And I have a, and th this is coming from a guy who has a weekly game that he and friends get together and play. Um, so like, you know, it, like, yeah. So I'm just saying virtual is absolutely able to do it also it makes it much easier for scheduling because then people don't have to worry about like leaving their homes if they have any, any like if they have kids to keep an eye on or uh or a partner who needs who's not doing well or something like that and so like they can just they don't have to worry about leaving the people alone or taking them with them or finding a sitter or anything like that um they can just be like like one ear on the kids, one ear in the game kind of a thing. Um, so like virtual absolutely makes things easier. Wait, 
make sure I didn't miss anything back here. No, okay. An upended wheelbarrow. One of the wire traps Winston made for my birthday expedition. <laughs> Winston used my hair ribbons to make this. He and Dad put a lot of work into this birthday surprise. Aww. Aww. It's not a problem at all. Um, mm, water damage from the main hall above. Not a problem. I absolutely... I do absolutely genuinely believe that... Oh, thank you so much for the subscription! I greatly appreciate you for that. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Um... But, uh... Yeah, the, I do genuinely believe that video games and TTRPGs are for anyone and everyone. Uh, there's absolutely, like, there are definitely assholes out there who, like, gatekeep and talk talk all kinds of shit. But they, ab but, like, truth of the matter is, just ignore them, you know? Uh, they're just bullies. And usually they're severely wrong about the things they're trying to gatekeep, too. Um, so yeah, it's stuff that's for everyone, and I will absolutely always try to convince people to enjoy a thing, or at least to try out a thing, you know? If they end up not liking it, and they end up deciding it's genuinely not for them, then fine, you know, no big deal. But, like, who knows, you know? Thank you again so much for the subscription. I greatly appreciate you. All right, I really need to get a crowbar. Yet another thing that needs a crowbar, okay. <laughs> I love it how all of like the secret passages and stuff have like children's handprints all over them. <laughs> Cause that's like so real, you know? Plans for adding electricity to the manor. Dad used to say his granny hated all the bright lights. Hmm, there's a missing page. Hmm, a missing page. Come on, pick it up. Amelia left tonight. She packed her suitcase and walked right out of here and I didn't even notice. Like those days in the Oxford Library before we even met, I just had my nose in a book lost in my own world. I am such a fool. I have let my obsession with this damned ritual of long life rule my better judgment for far too long, and it may already be too late. How could I have not seen this coming? I've made this mistake over and over, always putting my research before my personal life. But it's never hurt like this before. I simply cannot live without her. If I have to give up this accursed quest that has plagued me for so long, then so be it. I am going after her, right now, tonight. Oh. It was almost over before it started. I almost admired Dad's ability. I always admired Dad's ability to recognize when he was wrong. Oh. They're so cute. Why do they always make the cutest relationships, like, tragic as fuck? 
Okay, that ledger has to be in here somewhere. Hopefully it has the combination to the safe. Ye old library. I've created a clever little map for Lara's birthday expedition. I used the invisible ink Amelia picked up for me in Morocco so many years ago. At the time, I remember being so annoyed by that rather aggressive street vendor, but she just smiled in her sunny way and paid him without a second thought. I assumed it was just a tourist scam, but it actually works. Turns out it requires a very specific kind of vellum and a heat source to illuminate the ink after it's dried. It could prove a nice challenge for Lara to puzzle out. Dad put so much work into that birthday expedition. Invisible ink is freaking awesome. Uh, you're very welcome. You're very welcome. And yes, Lara is always testing everyone. Always testing everyone. <laughs> Absolutely out of control. I would say put a leash on her, but I'm sure somebody else has already done that. I always that. accepted that Richard's rather unorthodox research was just something I had to live with. But, but this time, the thrill of discovery has taken hold of me. I never imagined I could be drawn in this way. Richard Cable to tell me he's found the monastery. The symbol we deciphered in the scroll was the key to its location. I don't know if I honestly believe that this will lead to the fabled elixir of life, but I can't help but feel that a great secret awaits us there. My brother was threatening to shut down the expedition, but I managed to talk him down for the time being. Now I am going to meet Richard. I would bring Lara if I could, but she's still too young. She'll be in good hands with Winston, and when we return, her parents might just be a bit more famous. She was beginning to believe. I, mu uh, I must have made Dad so happy to know that she could accept his wild ideas. For God's sake, memorize the combination, you fool. Lara's expedition treasure. My favorite painting by Amelia. The day of our wedding anniversary. For God's sakes, memorize the combination, you old fool. Oh, man, I feel that in my bones. Uh, <laughs> Dad would never have written down the combination, but it looks like he left himself clues to remember the num uh, to remember the numbers. Okay, got to find those objects to figure out the combination to the safe. There's something else here. I've reached the monastery. As Roth predicted, it was hidden deep in the Himalayas, and now that I'm standing on these high stone walls, I am overwhelmed by the sheer beauty of the mountains that surround me. It is simply breathtaking. But what adds to their spiritual majesty is the truth of this place. The monks welcomed me, as is their way, but they seem to expect me. They must have known someone like me would eventually come seeking answers. I know this is the place. They've conducted the ritual before. I have seen the evidence, the distinctive symbols carved into the floors, the art displayed on the inner chamber's walls. They've created the elixir before, and they will again if I can convince them. I sent Amelia a message straight away. I want her by my side for this discovery. Dad never told me about this myth. Why was he so sure? What did he find that convinced him it was real? Dad was looking for an elixir. Was it the elixir of life? Dad's lighter. I don't remember him ever using it, though. The Croft family crest and initials BC. I wonder if this belonged to my grandfather. New gear acquired. Lighter. Okay. Juicy gossip. Absolutely. Should be able to light the fireplace now. Juicy, juicy gossip. 
This is my handiwork. Aww. I used to love drawing pictures of tigers. Aww. Spent so many hours in here, reading, dreaming of my own adventures. Let's see, before we go up, is there any other things on the ground floor? Ooh, there's this, what's this? This music is familiar. It's beautiful. I forgot! <laughs> Worst artwork, zero out of 10. I love that they included this song. Oh man, that's great, I love it. It appears Sir Reginald's helmet fell off. Or didn't I put it back properly? <laughs> Not just the Venice music, but also the music that you can activate in Croft Manor uh, in that same game. One of Winston's notes. He always hit sweets for me to find. Lara, Jaffa Cakes next to William Blake. Oh, I... Oh, wrong button. Probably a relic more, huh? <laughs> there it is. One of Winston's notes. He always hit sweets for me to find. <laughs> All right, I will be right back. Um, I have to run to the restroom. Uh, don't go anywhere. Get back to it. Oh man, look at how much water damage and how run down this place is. It breaks my heart. Thank you very much for the welcome back. I remember this now. Each district in ancient Egypt had a symbol and a number. I always preferred these symbols to the actual number hieroglyphs. Hmm. No, let me see, let me see. These two. 
two myths are referencing the same source material. But where did I see this image? Dad, I think it's this one, in the chapter on Egyptian districts. Why, yes, I think you're right, Lara. I remember the page, with the illustration of Ra. My goodness, you've been paying attention, haven't you? This could be an important breakthrough. Does this mean I'm your research assistant? That and more, my darling girl. Oh. Takes me back. Those were good times. The best times. They're so this was adorable. always one of my favorite books in this library. I used to trace hieroglyphs. Let's angle that camera so that uh, respectfully. This picture was taken in the library. Oh, come on. C come on. Give me that. Eighteen twenty additions to the main hall in progress. Hmm. quite a tumble off of this old thing when I was a girl. Still feel it in the shoulder from time to time. Damn. <laughs> she really screwed herself up if she fucking... <laughs> ruined. <laughs> Angle the camera respectfully. Absolutely. Bullet wound, like, that first game really screwed her over. Like, really injured her, like, everywhere. <laughs> I wonder how it, how many of these books are like first edition worth hundreds of dollars if not thousands of dollars, you know? Hmm, blank except for the image of a key. Oh, I will guarantee you it's not truly blank. I remember this map now. It leads to the master key, but we made it with a special kind of invisible ink. It could only be seen with the heat of a fire. Also a very rich gal, yeah. Although currently, technically, her uncle owns the money through the because he's the executor of the will, um, and they ha of the estate. I mean, and uh, Richard Croft didn't have apparently didn't have a will, and her mom apparently. The, like hid her will or you know nobody was able to find her will or something hmm i think i stashed one of winston's master keys in here when i was a kid i want to know the story of how all these books ended up on top of this bookshelf like this you know like i could just kind of imagine richard croft or even laura like coming, combing through the library and being like, no, this isn't it, and angrily throwing it across the room and it ends here. I can see the map. 
Looks like the key is hidden under a trunk near the bookcase. X marks the spot, as they say. The master Absolutely. Key. This should get me into the West Wing. Master key acquired. All right. This should open most rooms in the manor, including the Forbidden West Wing. All right. Now that we've got the key, let's do some backtracking, backtracking, backtracking. Hmm. I think there might be more clues to find in the library. Okay, fine. She wants me to go get that dang chest up there. Fine, I'll do it. Not a problem, not a problem. Go take care of yourself. Call it a night, sweet dreams. Um, I hope you sleep well and have a good day tomorrow. Um, take care of yourself and all that wonderful thing, all those wonderful things. Um, I'll see you around. Thank you again so much for the subscription and thank you for hanging out. And, uh, I do really appreciate you. Have a good night. The Pharaoh's crown from my birthday treasure hunt. How old was I again? Six? Eight? Hmm. I think this hieroglyph corresponds to a Later. number, but which one? Oh, well, we can check the sheet we found earlier, but I don't want to just yet. Okay, Dad's clues mention Mum's paintings and their anniversary. Hopefully I can find some answers in the West Wing. Okay, we don't have a crowbar yet. it off although I bet he didn't lock it off so much as it stayed locked off you know I mean he did lock it off but I mean like after the tree the Croft family crest because I mean all the danger signs and everything that's what I'm trying to say the danger signs All right. Now, I know there's a door over here to unlock. Is there a door over here? I don't think so. All right, so just to this. There's the door to the library. Mistress Lara, I took the liberty of preparing a tray, as dinner did not go according to plans. I've included, in addition to your meal, a few treats. I would appreciate it if you kept this between us, but I felt tonight called for something special. If you will forgive me the indulgence, your rapid exit from the dinner table had me concerned, oh. and I wanted to impart something that I hope sets your mind at ease. I have known your father for quite some time. There is an intensity to his passion that can be frightening, but I recognize that same passion in you. You're more like him than you know. 
Never doubt that he loves you more than his research, more than his artifacts, more than anything in this world. Storms pass, and tomorrow will be clear and blue again. When you have finished, please leave the tray outside. Be well. Yours, Winston. Oh, Winston. I don't even remember this letter. I'm sure I wasn't able to read it at, all, at the time. Did he write this more for himself than me? No, I think he wrote it more for Lord Croft than he did for Lara. All right, and here's the staircases again. All right. Hold on. The thunder needs to stop so I can listen. Oh my god, they made like every step echoes. I love it. Okay, sorry. All right, we were. We were, yeah, I said it, we were, uh, going over here, sort of. All right. Still needing a crowbar. So I do not have a crowbar yet, right? No, I don't have a crowbar yet. Ooh, let me light this fireplace. Hopefully that'll warm the place up a little bit. It looks freezing, frigid. Beautiful. Aha. With Amelia gone, the manor is a different place. A dimness pervades, a quiet I can't stand. Even though Lara is too young to understand what has happened, she also senses the change. She's asked after her mother only once, and I'm afraid my reaction must have terrified her. I will need Winston more than ever these next few months to help look after her. I never quite realized how much grief can consume a man, but I am utterly consumed. I know I can't escape the pain, but I will try my damnedest to avoid it. I will seal the West Wing for as long as I live in this place. It will remain exactly as Amelia left it. Perhaps someday Lara can find her own answers there. Well, it didn't remain exactly as Amelia left it because, you know, weather had th other things to say about it. Dad was right. I could sense the change. Now I'm going to find my own answers. Honestly, honestly, he probably kept telling himself there would be time, there would be time, there will be time, uh, time to, he'll be able to tell Lara it all eventually, you know, he'll, there'll be time for it eventually, there'll be time, there'll be time, but tragedy of it is, it wasn't. All right, before we open that door. Oh, OK, Laura, keep it together. You're starting to see things. I missed the jump scare Mom's because I was looking out the window. sealed it soon after she died. 
He probably couldn't bear the idea of removing any of her belongings. My lord, we all hope your work was well received at the conference and look forward to your return. As is so often the case with these missives, I wanted to call your attention to an incident involving our little our angel. Our little angel. It seems that Lara has been the subject of some ridicule amongst the other girls at school. From what I can gather, some of the other young ladies were teasing her for being too much of a tomboy. You know how Lara can get when pushed into a corner. Let's just say they won't be bothering her again. But I do <laughs> think their words have had an effect. I believe Lara has been missing her mother lately. She's begun to worry that she isn't like the other girls. And having grown up with only a father, it shouldn't come as a surprise that she has trouble relating to them. I wonder if this new friend of yours, Anna, is it? Perhaps she might prove a welcome influence. It might be worth bringing her to the manor to meet Lara. In any case, I'll let you decide the proper time to do that. Please travel home safely. Yours, Winston. Oh, Winston. He really did look out for her. All right, so we've got the atelier and the master bedroom. with the atelier untouched for years exactly as she left it i stood up to my family's criticism stood in defense of richard and our love but as my new life began in croft manor doubt set in how could love flourish in these cavernous halls and endless passageways? Had I made a terrible mistake? I have never been more delighted to be wrong. Richard welcomed me to the manor, my new home, with a game. It was a clue, written in jumbled words from five different languages, but it pointed the way forward. The next clue was a seemingly blank piece of parchment in the kitchen where the heat of a candle revealed a message written in lemon juice. I followed each step, grinning like a child as I solved his riddles and chased the trail to its end. A white cloth stretched out on the lawn where a picnic was laid out. <laughs> we laughed and ate, and my doubt vanished with the last of the morning mist. Love can and will endure. Ah. Um... And that I feel like that's why she got him the the transparent the the invisible ink uh, because he used lemon juice to uh, you know good job dad <laughs> you knew how hard this decision was for her and you made it easy the mark of a good man. You've almost got it, darling. Here, let me show you. Like this, see? <laughs> well done, Lara. Well done. I wonder how my life would have been different had she lived. Every child who loses a parent wonders that. a baby i've never seen this hard to believe i was ever that small oh i don't have any memory of this i wish i could remember doing this mom died too young
far. Climb the ladder. This was for a show in London of Mum's work. What I wouldn't give to see this today. Hmm. It says here, Amelia Croft plans to show her work in New York. I wonder what happened with that. Well, as we found out from the thing, uh, well, actually, we haven't found out what happened to that yet, have we? Now that I think about it. Lara arrived tonight, though not without a bit of drama, but all is yeah, well. Yeah, tracks. She's a healthy, beautiful baby. I've never seen Richard so happy. I'm sure he'll be celebrating with his favorite whiskey tonight. It's calm and peaceful now. Just the gentle sound of the rain and the small, sleeping breaths of this new life I hold in my arms. Lara, Lara Croft, my darling daughter. It's hard to put into words this feeling I have. We share a connection, something I never expected. A love so powerful and pure. Someday you'll feel it too. No matter where you go or where you find your place in this world, we will always have this connection. I still feel that connection to you, Mom, she says. That was one of the ones from the brochure. Mum's paintings. Which one was Dad's favorite? Probably the one of... I returned home this afternoon to collect the last of my paintings. I suppose I should say I returned to my family's home. Atlas was there, in one of his foul moods. And even as he dripped venom for Richard with his cruel barbs, I could only laugh. To think that I once listened to my bitter brother in matters of my own happiness. My dismissal only served to infuriate him more. I left him there in father's study, muttering to himself. On the drive back, as Winston took a longer route through the country, I looked through my paintings. Richard's favorite one among them, a simple abstract with blocks of red. I smiled, thinking about giving it to him. I was happy, and... I was going home. Must have been so hard for her to give up her, her, her family. Hmm. Well, I mean. Blocks of red. Dad's favorite painting. Maybe something about that painting will help me figure out the combination. For God's sake, memory. Four. Four red squares. Ah, 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 ah. All right. Um, so we are at... <clears throat> I would say we're... We still got a bit of this left, um, but we also there's also Lara's nightmare that I want to poke into, uh, and a few other things that I want to do. Um, so we'll go ahead. So instead of pushing through and finishing this off tonight, uh, we will uh, wrap it up here and continue it next week. Um, so yeah. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks, uh, everyone, for the views and for hanging out and all of that, you know? Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, and, uh, yeah, we'll be back tomorrow with more Watch Dogs Legion, possibly finishing that game. It feels like we're really close to the end, but I have no, uh, no real idea. Um... But yeah, before we head out, you should absolutely check out these amazing people I have listed up here. I have even more recommendations in that link tree below. Speaking of that link tree, as I said at the top of the screen, at of the top, oh my god, at the top of the stream, 
If you go to Linktree slash Crimson Knight, as depicted on the screen, you will find links to my socials, my Discord, my YouTube, my drone wishlist, my Patreon, and other stuff. Uh, so feel free to check that out. Um, but if you want to bypass all that and just go to my Patreon, patreon.com slash Crimson Knight, you will find a uh, place where you can support me. You know, help me out here. Um, if you don't want to do that, that's fine. I won't hold it against you. And, uh, it's just an extra little thing. If not, you know, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah. In the meantime, not the meantime. What, where am I? What am I? Who are we? Uh, but yeah, what I was going to say is, but yeah, that's it from me for the night. We'll be back tomorrow, as I already said, with more Watch Dogs. And so until then, remember to have empathy, be kind, be safe. Love yourselves and love everyone around you. And I will see you all tomorrow. I love you all. Peace out.